Anyway. Hey folks, Black Cross and Delmar back with more Kingdom Hearts. And we got a dancing rug. That's our prize for completing this game. <laughs> it's like a dancing rug in the corner. Well anyway, the last episode we were able to defeat Sephiroth on our third try, which I thought it was going to be even longer for us to beat him. But it took us longer to beat the Ice Titan than it did Sephiroth. Yeah, which is weird. wonder how long it'll take to fight this one. Yeah, because now we're going to fight the Secret Flea. Which basically we're going to fight the Secret Boss here. Who, if you don't know, the name of this boss was actually the name given uh, by a contest by a fan who was part of a contestant or contest where you your name will you'll be named after a boss and I don't know how to pronounce the name of this Kurt boss. Caesar Kurt Caesar yeah that's literally the name Kurt Caesar all right but yeah so this boss is pretty special considering about considering the effects that followed yeah and we can't use magic which is a good thing I used arrow as quickly as I could this is a really cool boss I mean it really is just Absolutely amazing. It is pretty awesome, especially the snake heads thing and the multiple. I know. I actually, I'm actually hoping that when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, I doubt they'll do this, but like. I hope to uh, see more Heartless design boss fights in Kingdom Hearts 3. That'd be awesome. Well, also, I prefer the Heartless more than I do the Dream Eaters and Nobodies. Oh, there definitely, w there definitely will be Heartlesses. Let there be no mistake about that. There will be Heartlesses. But all that snake is a feisty little fella. Yeah, we're actually taking it out real quickly too. That's surprising. I mean, look at him. Oh, now we can't use magic again, right? No, we can still use magic. Oh, oh, it just, the bubble. We just have to defeat the bubble thing. What? But the bubble actually gives us a uh, MP. Yeah. So that's cool. You kind of have to because there's no real way to actually attack him physically. You have to use magic. Oh, okay, so that's why you're using UNLIMITED POWER! Yeah, oh, pretty nice. much. Yeah, you're knocking him out pretty good. Yeah, gum. Maybe level 80. I just realized he has, a. Uh, like a diamond thing on his, uh... That's his heart, basically. Okay. He hit the kind of like a diamond thing. Which is kind of interesting. I mean, he is technically a mechanized heartless in a way. Literally, he is a mechanized heartless. Which you don't see a lot of. Well, actually, yeah. I, I would like to say like a robotic steampunk type heartless. That would actually be a really... I'm sure someone's probably designed it, like, but like in the actual game where you could fight. Oh, yeah. I mean, there are a couple of mechanized Heartless, but not as cool as this one is. You know what I mean? Although, to be fair, with the head, kind of, like, you know how Jafar, in the movie, transformed into a snake right. at the end? Imagine him deciding to ask Jimmy, Genie to give him a mecha suit as well, and his snake body's, like, controlling the head or something. Gee, it's hard to keep track of him at times. You just gotta be careful is all. You almost got a... There we go. Now off with his head! Spine body thing! That was easy. Well, yeah, level 81. What do you expect? 82 now. Oh, okay. I think 83, actually. But still, he is an awesome boss. No! Oh, and gosh. each one is trying to tackle... He's the only Heartless who, even as he's dying, is trying to kill them. What Heartless can do that? Most of them are like... Ugh. Him? He's like, I'm gonna take you out! Never mind. Well, looks like I fed up. Insert bleach joke here and wait for laugh track. Oh, Eddie Flea. Yeah. Let me look at it. I don't think I've actually looked at it. 
It's like way down on the... There we go. Has a 30% chance of unleashing a finishing combo attack that can destroy... Uh, weak, weaker <laughs> enemy. Okay, that's okay. To explain why I can't read the last part, because there's like a little decoration on the TV. Yeah, that's like, I completely didn't realize it. It's only two, so that helps. We'll use that. Yeah. Plus, you can make make bleach references now. Is it Songus? Yeah, ah! it's Songus. Songusin. Songusuin. Songusuin. Either way. That's interesting. Didn't think of that. Now, let me do something real quickly before we go to the next one. I mean, even though I won't use it, I want to make certain I'm prepared. What are you using? Oh! That way, it is equipped. Yeah, because in the last one, when we fought Sephiroth, we did not equip it, which could have come in handy even though we was able to beat him fine. And I just realized you have a lot of tech boost. I do, don't I? Didn't even realize it. Okay, I think I'm good now. Just taking a quick look and everything. But now we go on to... Uh, there we go. The next one we're going to tackle on, because I didn't realize we were going to actually beat him that quickly, well, requires a lot, a lot, a, a lot, lot of magic. A lot. Uh, uh, dang it. Well, we can only do it for so long. Well... So now we must go to Neverland. Yep, Neverland. Yay, can't wait to see Peter. Aren't you excited, Peter? Not really. <laughs> Still uh, makes me laugh. Are you going to put Peter Pan in your party? Probably a good idea, wouldn't it? Actually, yeah, especially since he's good with uh, magic. Yeah, Goofy can't, so it's in the cabin, isn't it? Yeah, cabin. Because that's, that's where you find Tinkerbell to talk to. Yeah. I couldn't remember right off. I was like, is it in the cabin well, or in the hole? hole? Well, it's the same cabin which uh, they found Wendy in. Right, right. And that's how I remembered. Oh, it's just in the cabin. See? Yeah. All right, so let me fix up Goofy to where... Holy crap, that is a lot of fever you gave him. Well, I figured I would need it whenever I fought Curse Caesar, which he didn't use all of it. He knows how to item manage! Huh. Interesting. Quick Peter Pan with some. Aoife, 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 Esther, Easter, Mega Easter. Okay. Switch Goofy the, out. The, get out of the way! That is a wall. There we go. Yay! We got Peter Pan back! Okay. Uh, here we go. What is it, Tink? So I, you talk to her. She can't talk to me. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I think she's just saying hi. But we'll go somewhere. Let's fly together. Exclamation mark. <laughs> uh, now, the original version was just straight out a black cloak. This one, I don't know why they went with the color design. Well, what do you mean? They... Is it not the Grim Reaper? It's the Phantom, yes, but... Uh, I'm sure I'm not going to lie. I actually like, prefer that more than... That's the, what I was going to say. I actually like that color scheme. Yeah. Even though, like... I mean, I like this boss fight, regardless of what color it technically is. But that one now, definitely suits Now, I something. do need to try to... This one I always get kind of confused about because I couldn't tell like what exact magic to use it on or something. Well, it's colored. For example, yellow is thunder. Did I just die? I didn't die to curse Caesars, but I died to the Phantom. How? T what? 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 But why? I don't know. You know what? That way we don't have to restock and all. We'll save. That way we can have our items saved up. Because this gets kind of tedious after a while. Yeah. But just. What happened? I don't know. Did the, did the Grim Reaper just get upset because we were complimenting him? It's like. Okay, guys, using up. 
I know you guys appreciate it, but I hate it when you you make fun of my jacket. But we won't make it fun. I don't care! I must wear a jacket! I have to grab this out of my grandma's closet! Shut up! Stop! Kill! Okay, hey, let's go through the door and then come back into it where we don't have to worry about doing that again. All right. Okay, let's try this again. All right, Tink. Tink us away. Tink us away? Take us. I said take us away. Replay I... footage. If I accidentally say tink us, I apologize. I meant to say take us away. Oh, well. Because I do that all the time. But I think it's mostly just because of my... Mispronunciation. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's getting kind of worse. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Now, who's that for round two? Okay, well, this boss does get a bit annoying. If it's white, it's easier to figure out. See, if it's white, it's physical damage. Okay. Oh, it switched to red. Oh crap! What? What? What is? Oh, timer. Actually, I think the timer still. Okay, it's still. Gotta make certain that it's good. Do you think people are walking down the street and it's like, well, what's that up on the London clock tower? Are those kids? Flying against a white sheet? Yeah, I don't pay attention to it, honey. It's probably just some optical illusion. You know how magicians are nowadays. Oh my gosh, this. Will you please hold still? The white one's easier to figure out. Now then, for thunder. And it's... Nice job, Donald! The demon duck actually did something? Um, hi! Hi! Okay, we're getting kind of a rhythm going on. Yeah, we just gotta keep an eye on the orb and the clock at the same time. Because if that orb... Because if that clock starts to tick, one of our party members will die. Permadeath. So we can't even revive them with, uh... Precisely. But I don't want Peter to die. That's how this game, this, that's how this boss works. You really are the Grim Reaper of Hollis's. I know, right? Uh, thunder. Okay. Fire. Oh, it's blizzard now. So mostly when it comes to this boss, you you may have to use fire, blizzard, and fun and thunder for the colors. Basically. Yeah, but the clock you need to keep an eye on and make certain it stays stopped. But that's relatively simple once you get the pattern down and figure it out. Fire. 
slowly but surely. It's just that one time with a lucky shriek. Just get, just keep an eye on the clock. I know. What the? Oh, good job, Donald. Or whoever did it. Yeah, you're gonna have to use an E on you too. In a little bit, yeah. Uh oh, clock is ticking. Okay. Have me wait there for a sec. Yeah, I know, right? Use two ethers. Probably a good idea, yeah. But we almost got him. Just slowly. It's just, this boss is one of those that requires a lot of patience. Exactly. Because he's not that hard. It's just a matter of, of waiting for him to... Waiting on what type of magic to use or to hit him with physically. Oh, shoot. Probably should have packed at least one elixir. Yeah, probably. You, I think you'll do fine, though. If he can hold still, that is. Just only seven bars left of, uh... Okay. Keep an eye on the clock as well. Think we'll be fine. Just a second, I hear the. Okay. We'll be fine. Oh crap! We could have gone there. Come on, hope still. Where are you? Oh, nice. Got him. <sighs> Wasn't bad, but just time consuming. It was very time consuming. Because, well, it's a meanie. Yeah. One of the more interesting secret bosses, but nonetheless. And it was the ghost owner of the clock the entire time. And stop a guy. Yep. For some odd reason, yeah. Well, it, it makes sense, because, you know, that was a key component to this. Exactly. So, goodbye, Peter Pan. We'll see you whenever. whenever. <laughs> you owe me a Coke. Okay. Uh... And now we go on to 
How about just to do one more final thing before we finish off the game? And that is to fight the hooded man. Uh, not. Gosh, I just confused myself because I know in the last one I talked about how the hooded man was the hardest boss, but I meant the hooded man. Hooded Man and Birth by Sleep and not the Hooded Man in here. But this Hooded Man is also kind of uh, hard because he has Darth Vader powers. I was going to say, are you confused yet, Daniel? No, I, I was able to keep track of... Oh, and also, we have to fight by ourselves here. Not really by ourselves, but we can either switch with Beast or not. Which I don't know if I want to do that or not. Um... Yeah. I'm not sure. Shoot you. Let's take a look and see what his stat looks like. Let's see. 90. Da, da, da. Probably wouldn't hurt. But I think Donald would probably be a best bet to have. Yeah, I guess just keep Donald. So switch, uh, switch beast with Donald? Yeah. We'll do that. All right then. And then we got to restock. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Oh, you gotta use your mega elixirs. Nice, well, right? Yeah. I think I'll attach Donald with some elixirs. Uh, you only have one left. Which, to be fair, the answer fight, the answer boss fight, isn't that bad. No, it's not awful bad, it's just... I mean, there are some difficult parts, but honestly, it's easily manageable. Well, I've got the potions. Well, you ready? I don't know. You look at what time we have left. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Um... I'm afraid that if we fight this one, it would be for a longer video. And plus, he's... PRETTY INTENSE! He's... He has Darth Vader powers. He has lightsabers. Oh well. Not even kidding, he does have lightsabers. Let's just go ahead. It, it, it might be for a long video, but we'll we go can for do it. We can cut it out. Remember, I'm doing it for you guys, but this one is pretty tough. You'll find out how tough in just a sec. But fun. Although this was actually the first cutscene from the final mix that I saw. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, they had it in Kingdom Hearts 2, but everyone in America never played the uh, Final Mix. So it was a scene that everyone was like, who the fuck is he? Yeah, but I remember watching the, the cutscene on YouTube about a long time ago or something. It was years ago. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? I'm just surprised how they got the uh, voice actors for this one, you know? I think what happened... What happened is that they pre-recorded this, but just they didn't think about bringing it to the U.S. or due to time constraints or something. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure. I don't really have a logical uh, reason. Hmm. I mean, it could be. Even though they do, they. Ju oh wait, I think I know what it was. They reused some of the audio clips from the uh, from uh uh uh. uh the earlier part of the game. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. I just thought it was weird. But I didn't think that, oh, they probably reuse the audio clips in some parts. This is where it gets crazy. Hey, we're not incomplete. Shall we decide to skip the gunship missions because <laughs> it gets... Uh, oh... Gerard! He's trying to accomplish peace of fleshliness! <laughs> Run away! Oh gosh, I'm scared! Yeah, that being Gerard, I was shit my pants. <laughs> like, you did not complete this game. I'm getting mad! See? It's Darth Vader! Or Kylo Ren, I'm not sure! And I think now would be a good time to use Ocarlanium. Hold on, Tinkerbell. Oh gosh, that was odd. I just thought about it, I was like, I might want to summon Tinkerbell just to save my ass. Just saying, this might be a good time to use one. 
Plus, we haven't really used the uh, summons in a while, honestly. Close, wasn't it? You know, I'm not. I'm just now thinking for episode eight. What if Kylo Ren actually used two red lightsabers? Oh God! If that was the case, and he fought like that, everyone would just shit their pants. Meanwhile, Kingdom Hearts fan would be like, "He's a cop out! He's a cop out!" Well, to be fair, Disney owns both, so I guess you can't help yourself. True, but still. Let's just face it, a fine style like that would be awesome. Intense for a Star Wars film, but still. Shoot, 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 shoot! Come on, come on. Oh, come, come the fuck on! We we were doing well, this, doing good as well. Uh, Got tongue twisted. <laughs> that you did. That you did. Yeah, the curse you, Juad, Kylo, Zemnus, whoever you are. And I just realized. What? Reitemize. Oh shoot. Okay, so we got our irons fixed, but now we have to go and face off Gerard Kylo Xemnas. <laughs> that's the new name of gaming. It's he, because it, obviously that's Xemnas, of course. If you play King Ross 2 and know the Xemnas bosses fight, that's Xemnas, of course. And then we got Kylo Ren because of the lightsabers, and plus also that would also be super cool if he did have two lightsabers in a fighting style like that, make that happen. And then, with the fact he said we were incomplete because we didn't complete this game, that's Gerard! It's Gerard Kylo Zemnis! Ooh, what the flashes. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with the guy. I hate it when he does this. There we go. So I hate it when he does that move. Yeah, it sucks, but still. Tank. Kill. Seriously, I remember whenever I first fought him, I was like, HOW IS ANYONE SUPPOSED TO FIGHT THIS GUY?! It's like if the developers decided to just say, screw it! Just put in the ultimate boss and make him super impossible that it will take a madman to beat him.
And considering the fact that you're doing a level 1 Kingdom Hearts playthrough... Oh dear god. If people ask me to fight this guy at level 1, I don't know how long I survive. I would like to see someone do that! I say so. Not you, of course. I don't want you to lose your insanity. It'll be mostly just like focusing on like... Actually, I'm gonna look that up afterwards and see if that's actually the case. Yeah, someone probably has already. And boy, I feel so sorry for them. Tinkerbell is really saving my ass here. If Tink could talk, she'd be like, This is round me out! I could go for a vacation! Come on. Thank you, guys. Of course, Tink re automatically revives you if you reach zero, so, but still, I want to try to keep her as long as I can. Not again. You know he's got to do that. It's like with Sephiroth. Aha! Oh, that was quick. Oh, and also apparently he's also Han Solo with the shots. So he's Gerard Kylo Solo Zemnis. <laughs> Then you, I, I think most people probably know, but I don't really want to discuss the whole spoiler story revolving that joke, but, uh... Right. Because there's, cause there's some people who haven't seen The Force Awakens. Like, I remember one time we were lunch and, uh... Our friend John, uh, or Search the Webway, if you watch some of my videos, was talking about it. And we have another friend named Spencer, and... At the time, he hasn't, he hasn't seen the movie. So... When John mentioned this one part in the uh, film, and it was a major spoiler alert, he was not happy with him that night. He really wasn't. I say not. Well, you were there when we... wait. Were you? I don't remember. Oh, I know you were. This was before you came to work, but... Man, it was one heck of a... And there we go! And you learned Vortex! So take that drug, Kylo Solo, Zemnis, Hooded Man, the third senior. Holy fucking shit. And of course he still survives. Well, it's Zemnis, of course he will. Impressive! This will be enjoyable in the future! What are you talking about? I if you wonder how he did that. It is beyond your comprehension for now. Because I'm a magician! Until we meet again. For now, I give this my completionist rating of... Philippine it! That's deep, man. That's deep. <laughs> but now, uh, I think it's kind of too late for that. Experience necklace? What more would I want the experience necklace for? Yeah. Especially at this point in the game. You got everything. I'm at 84, practically. Yeah. But now we've beaten all the secret bosses. And Awkwardly enough, we beat three in one video. Yeah, I knew we would. Besides, like, even though you died once by the Reaper and once by G Gerard Kylo Solo Zemnis, uh, it went pretty well. But then again, you had a high level anyway. Yeah, but still, that. Hey. But now we must come to the end of our journey at the end of the world. Uh, how how, how <laughs> 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 
journey to the center of the earth for the end of the world, of the end of our journey, for the end of our lives. The end. You want to keep going with that? To the end of the mystery of why we go for such quest to search the meaning of our existence at the end of the galaxy, universe, and the multiverse. The end of civilization where no man has explored before. And, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I was going to say, how long can we keep this video going? <laughs> I could keep going, but I think people don't want to hear me ramble about stuff that might be too ph philosophical about this. True. Anyway, though, uh, I can't believe I'm going to be saying this. Well, folks, uh, next video is going to be the f fin final fin finale. Finale? <laughs> Spill it out, man! Spill it out! I can't! Don't you get it? At the end, the next episode, the last video of Kingdom Hearts! Dude, we got more games. We're still going to come back. Touche. Yeah. But still... Yeah. It just... I mean, I won't get done with this. We'll be jumping to the next game. Touche. It just... Here we are. The final episode. And we're already like, what? Episode... Once we're at... Literally, next episode... Will be episode 50. Although, Chris... A solid 50. Wait, seriously? A solid 50? Seriously. I believe this is... The next episode will be the 50th episode of Kingdom Hearts. Which huh. is the final episode. Interesting. Yeah. I'll have to get a birthday... <clears throat> cake for that. Alright then, well we'll see you in the next video. This is Black Cross and Delmar signing off. Bye! See you guys. See you at the last episode at the end of the universe for the end of the glory of Fudge! See you guys.